Let's look at the next question. It says to us, the table Lindy uses for functions um, in a tent has a diameter of 130 centimeters. So we can see already here, the first clue we are given is that the diameter is 130 centimeters. And you can see when you go to the table itself from there to there um, is 130 centimeters. I just will erase that so that we still have our clarity um, in terms of what we are doing. So it says to us the circular cloth so we're still working with circles. Um, used on the table over changes 25 centimeters. So we are told about the 25 centimeters um, that we are looking at over there. So those are the two 25 centimeters. They are equal to each other all round. To make the tablecloth, she has to add 1.8 centimeters right around um, for the hem. So it's very important for you to also read the question twice if you feel as though it's dribbling you a bit. You see, I can feel right now that this question is dribbling me a bit. I'm going to read that again. To make the tablecloth, she has to add, okay? So she has to add 1.8 centimeter right around for the hem. So we need that 1.8 centimeter for the hem. What is a hem, guys? A hem is that little piece at the bottom over there. The tablecloth material measures 2.3 meters wide and 2.3 meters um, in length. So we can see all of those measurements on the side over there. That's 2.3, that's 2.3. We know that that is going to give us a square. And that's the good thing um, about knowing the properties of a shape. So the first question says to us there, um, it says, calculate the diameter of the tablecloth to be cut from the material, including the additional centimeters for the hem. So I'm going to redraw this. If you feel like something is too difficult for you, go and draw it again. Okay, so I'm going to draw it again and it's going to give us a nice feel of what they're asking us. So I'm going to draw it again, but in this particular case, I'm going to draw it laid out. Okay, I'm not going to draw it in the shape that they've given it um, in. So let's go and draw that shape again to see what it gives us. And it should be giving us um, a shape that does look like this. So this is 3.3.1. And we do have our tablecloth um, going on over there. And in that particular tablecloth, we do know that we have that inner part. Funky circle, but... Okay, <laughs> you have an idea of what I'm doing. So it's 130, um, the diameter going on there. That's the first one, okay? 130. And then we do know that from this part to this part over here, I'll make that a different color, okay? From there to there, we do know that it's going to be 25 centimeters. And then the extra thing that we know, I'm going to make that a different color as well, is that we have a little hem, and that little hem, again, look at that. I've got three circles with me. The hem is then going to be from here all the way to here. And we are told that the hem is going to be 1.8 centimeters. So it's going to be 1.8 centimeters. And we are using um, centimeters all the way throughout. We are using that. Okay, so it says to us that calculate the diameter of the tablecloth to be used um, and cut the material, including the additional centimeters. I say to you guys, we need to know the relationships, but in this particular case, there isn't much of a relationship that we do need to know, okay? So what we're gonna do is just add to find the diameter. This is what we are looking for. We're looking for, because the diameter is from one point of the circle to the other point of the circle. So it means that I'm going to be adding um, those all together. So let's go and add those all together. What I do need to remember as well is that if it's 25 from here to here, it is going to be 25 again from there to there. And it is going to be again um, 1.8 from there to there. So please be super duper careful. So in this particular case, the diameter... is going to be 
25 plus 25, so I'm just making them double at the beginning so I don't forget to add anything, plus 1.8, plus 1.8, plus the diameter that's in the middle, um, which is 130. So we need to be super, super careful that we do add everything that is required of us. So 25 plus 25 plus 1.8 plus 1.8 plus 130. That, you see, I got a fraction again um, as my answer. I just press change over there, gives me another fraction, change again, and then it gives me the decimal that I am looking for. That's 183.6. 183.6. 183 the unit of measurement I'm using is centimeter so that is what i am looking for such um amazing questions that we're getting from little honolo over there let's go to the next one the next question says to us calculate the area now we're looking for the area we calculated the diameter first now we are looking for the area calculate the area in meter square nice we're moving from one level to another level now we are going to be converting centimeters to meters somewhere along the way. Let's see how we're going to do that. It says to us um, of the material, you may use the following formula. Um, and we are calculating, it says to us, area equals to length times breadth. But we are given the material size, guys. Let me show you the material size that we are given. The top, top, top there. So we aren't going to be doing any conversions. As I was saying, um, I thought we were going to convert. We won't convert because we're already given in meters over there. So length times breadth. That's all we're doing because we are looking for the material size um, going on over there. So no need to do any conversions over there. And that question is out of... Okay, it doesn't show what the question is out of, but I'm assuming it's not going to be that hectic. So it says that we may use the formula area is equals to length times breadth. The length of it's 2.3 times 2.3. It is a square. 2.3 times 2.3 gives us fraction. There's a mixed number. It's a fraction, improper fraction. And then it gives us the, the decimal that we are looking for, 5.29. So 5.29, we are going to give it in meter square because it was also given to us in meters. Okay, so you are looking now, we've been doing centimeter, 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 and it's very easy for you to get lost within all the centimeters um, that are going on. So we were using centimeters and now we are using meters. Let's go to the next question. The next question says to us, calculate the area again. Now it's asking us to calculate the area in meter square of a tablecloth to be cut by Lindy. So now we are again um, looking for that. And it says to us that we may use um, the following formula. The question is not very clear and it is not um, giving us exactly what we need. I am very sorry about that because we cannot use it in terms of that.